Um, I search West Runton quite a bit for uh, flint and other fossils and I was looking along the West Runton freshwater bed and I found some animal footprints and I figured that if there's animals there's going to be humans hunting and within six weeks I'd found one, uh, one human footprint, a very nice one, very good shape um, and then an, about a fortnight later I found another two that had a, a nice squeeze where the where the person had moved forward and we're looking at 500,000 years old here half a million years old uh, and it's just it's a day you know it's an afternoon somewhere all those years ago and somebody's walked along the riverbank and it's just really nice sort of finding that after all this time after I'd found the animal footprints I thought there must be human here and I think um, it was almost more, yeah, you know, I could have told you so sort of thing. But it, 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 obviously I'm really pleased to find this stuff. It's just nice. A lot of stuff comes out of West Runton. Like I say, we had the mammoth back in the 90s and the fossils. And um, there's a, a, a Cretaceous sponge reef, which is really nice as well. And all the flint, what's going on and just a lot going on here. We usually down here minimum of once a week. Uh, we found a, a fire site further down and um, we came down three times. It, almost, it was literally was three days and on the fourth day it had gone. That's the thing. I mean, the whole of the cliff is eroding all the time and, you know, it's like these footprints. They're here. Um, they're here at the beginning of the week. By the end of the week, they're gone. You know, they've been washed away or they've been covered over. Um, it's it's volatile but that kind of that m makes it exciting I think and that adds an edge to it it's good I like it for that